The majority of New Ship Canberra's ship's company are now on the ground at Williamstown working all over the ship. Members of the Maritime Logistics Department are coming to terms with the magnitude of storing the first landing helicopter dock, the largest ship ever built for Navy. At the moment we're storing the ship, so what we're doing is putting all the different commodities onto the ship. That ranges from naval stores, which is uh, spare parts and things like that, through to canteen items, medical stores, food, so uh, the whole range of items that are required to support the ship and the ship's company. The logistics team is performing really well. They've got quite a number of challenges. They're having to take charge of uh, a lot of different people from different areas and uh, coordinate a whole bunch of different uh, evolutions whilst also taking part in duty watch training and whole ship training. And they're doing a, a great job under quite a bit of pressure. It was something I was a bit unprepared for when I come here because I wasn't really aware of the size and enormity of it. But as I thought back, my, my first boat was a, a patrol boat. So I've gone from the smallest boat in the Navy as a, just a general storeman to now as the SAO, the person responsible for the stores on the major ship, the biggest ship the Navy's ever had. While this activity has been planned for many months, the ship's company is now in execution phase, with pallet after pallet of stores and equipment being loaded onto the ship, ready for Canberra to be handed over to Navy. I think one of the biggest challenges with the ship uh, is just its, its scale. You can see how large it is, and so everything is on a scale to match that. Even the simple things like uh, bedding. We've got 1,580 dunas, 1,580 pillows, etc., and that takes up a lot of space. It takes a lot of work to put away. Canberra Ships Company is also conducting compartment and systems handover, as well as exercising whole ship emergency drills, such as emergency clear lower deck, ready to embark this ship in coming weeks. The thing I'm most looking forward to at this point in the posting is, is commissioning the ship and then getting us up and running. It's obviously taken quite a lot of work to get us to this point, and I think when we get to the point that we're actually operating it, it will be very exciting for everyone. The fact that Australia is going to own two of these ships is, is really quite impressive. And I think once we see them at sea, with the landing craft operating and helicopters operating off them, it will be, a, it will be really quite impressive.